Hi, welcome to Commute, the show where I drive to work and you sit shotgun. Hi, welcome to Commute, the show where you shit. The show where you shit, really? There are a bunch of deer directly in front of me, trying to figure out which way to go. Hi, welcome to Commute, the show where I drive to work. God damn it. Can't do the intro. Wormy, help me out. Bing bong, bing. This just in. Why would I ever help you, you stupid nerd? Why would I help you? I want to eat your brains. Give me your goddamn brains. Give me your brains. What do you think, Tom? Well, Bill, I think that Aloni is a moron. He's going to be late to work, and I'm reading his mind, and I can tell that he is stressed. He can't even do the intro. He just ate a handful of random M&Ms and chocolates, assorted. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Tom. I'm going to send things over to our new friend, Thomas. Thomas is a dietitian. Thomas, what do you think? I think that Aloni smells. I think that he's a smelly, smelly nerd. I think he's a smelly, smelly nerd, and I don't like him very much. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Thomas. Kind of weird that we have Tom and Thomas, but you know what? Uh, that's why we call you Thomas. The time is 11.37. Bing, bong, bing. I don't know why you resort to this wormy. You know that I know. You know I know that you're in my head. So why are you trying to do the radio bit? It doesn't even it doesn't even track. It's just excessive at this point. What I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by an angry little worm that wants to eat my brains is welcome to commute, the show where you sit shotgun as I drive to work. Wormy seems to think that he's number two in here, and he's the one sitting shotgun, and he's not. He sits up on the dash in a little jar, and he can't do nothing about it. Welcome to this weird-ass show, where while I race to work because I am running late today, once a week I sit down and I talk to you guys. I don't know why. Why do I do this? Does it make any sense? I try to be funny. I try to make jokes. Try to bring Wormy along. Put, it was hard putting him in the jar, man. It was dangerous. He could have eaten my brains. He already tried once. He adamantly wants to eat them, clearly, based on the radio broadcasts. The non-existent radio broadcasts. It's a time, man. We're having a time. People don't even notice the, the subconscious shit that's going on in the background when I edit, where... For some reason, the captions changed to my subconscious, I guess, warning me that Wormy's gonna eat me. I know he's gonna eat me subconscious. I know. He's a worm. He's a mind worm. He eats brains. That's what he does. I know. You don't need to tell me, me. Every time I say, um, you pop up. I'm just not gonna say, um, anymore. You're gonna have to fight your way through those captions. Anyway. Uh, I have 20 minutes to make it to work, so this is going to be a very short one. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit faster than I normally do. Normally when I drive to work, I go like 45, even though the speed limit is 55, because it's very dark out, and I'm a very cautious driver, and I get scared of the deer as they're going to hop out. But seeing as I'm going to run late, and there's nobody on the roads anyway because it's the middle of the night, and I just saw two deer, so that clearly means that psychologically, uh, I'm not going to see any more, clearly. Uh, and also, since I have absolutely no plan for this recording, I'm just going to talk. Uh, there's no danger of what, whatsoever, because I don't have a script. Like I, usually, Sometimes I have notes where I'm like, these are some comments I should read. Or like, this is the topic for today. But to be completely honest, up until five minutes ago, I wasn't even going to record this podcast. I was going to do it bi-weekly, but I was like, or bi-monthly or whatever, every two weeks. But I was like, ah, fuck it. Let's just wing it. That's the point of the show, right? Is to just say wild shit. Just talk out my ass at myself. 
and then other things have organically arrived, like Wormy and his bullshit, or the subconscious and his stuff. I think it's an interesting dynamic to have a guy talk to himself in a car and try to be funny, and then also to have on top of that, the guy editing, typing in shit in the comments, and the guy editing is also me, so it's all me. It's just, it's just more of my insanity. I told you at the beginning of this show that it was going to get more crazy as it went. That as I stream more, I'm going to get more stressed and the show is going to be more chaotic. And I still am going to finish this passion project. Even though nobody watches it, even though it's just me and then a couple of people who watch my stream come by and maybe watch this. Uh, other than that, it's fine. I don't want people to watch it. Fuck you. If you're listening to this, I don't give a shit. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time. I I'm, I'm hope I under, I'm entertaining you. This is basically a public diary at this point. YouTube is stressful as hell, and it does a lot to the psychology of the human brain. Especially streaming. Streaming fucks people harder than anybody's ever been fucked. I've been doing it for 31 days straight, and yeah, I'm starting to feel the fatigue, and I think from now on I'm never going to do two months in a row ever again. To be honest, I shouldn't do streaming at all because it's incredibly unhealthy. But sometimes it's fun. And whenever I do these long streams that I've planned for weeks in advance, it's usually as a, a coping mechanism. Because it's like, I got a lot of shit going on in my regular life and I don't want to deal with it, so I'm going to stream. Psychologically, that's the choice. It's a very weird show listen to, I think. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know what any of this is. I fucking hate the internet. I gotta be completely honest. I wish the internet never existed. If the internet didn't exist, my dreams would have all come true, and I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be doing something else. But it's the only way to make things anymore, which is just sad. It's sad that we have to be here. It's sad that we have to be in a place that is designed to torture us. The internet is a fucking not a good place. It's designed to constantly, unequivocally give you dopamine. And that's not healthy. It's just candy. You're just snorting candy all day. And it fucks with your brain. And it fucks with your brain even more to make it. Nobody should ever make this stuff. And now I understand why every YouTuber ever, when somebody, when somebody asks them, well, how should I become a YouTuber? They say, don't. I get it. It's it's shitty. It's a hellscape. It's a it's an exploitative, destructive system, and it's just as bad as Hollywood ever was. And it's funny that it's called the Little League of Hollywood because it's just as bad. And it's just bad in all new ways. I wanted to make indie movies. That was my dream. I wanted to. I, I, oh, I studied the greats. I read books. I read this great book called How to Build an Act, How to Make an Action Movie for a hundred dollars or something. And it was just this story this guy wrote when he was a teen. He had a fancy camera and he just made a movie. And then he wrote a book about it and he released it. And then I bought it and I read that book and I was like, I saw it in a store and I was like, this is awesome. I want to do this. It was How to Build an Action Movie for ninety nine dollars. Which is such bullshit. That's not possible anymore. The lowest indie budget movies are like $500,000. Like you're not even considered a real movie in the circles. But I don't know. It never happened. And when you have a dream, sometimes your dreams die. And sometimes you gotta make new ones. Sometimes you, you gotta, you know, make, take all those lemons and make some lemonade. You know, you might not want lemons, you might want something else, but that's what you got. You got lemons. So make some lemonade, sell that shit on the street, make a couple of quarters, be able to buy some real food. I don't know. I just, this car feels so much louder since it's been fixed. In the time since I last spoke to you, my car broke. 
lot a couple of different times. I don't know if I spoke to you after it happened or not. Everything's back to normal now. We're chalking it up to my leg hit the key and that's why my car shut off for no reason. And then before that it was my f tire was all fucked up and now my tire's fixed and my it's all realigned, it's all good. Back to normal. Bing, bong, bing. Tom? Yeah, Bill? I feel like Aloni's upset. I can feel, I can feel a lot of, a lot of wrath coming off of him. He's real wrathful, real angry. I'm not really sure why he's so upset. I'm trying to look deeper, but I just don't know. Thanks, Tom. Um... Thomas, what do you think? Well, I think that whenever we bring out uh, the female character whose name we never remember, that's kind of fucked up that we bring her out just to say that there's a woman weather woman, but, like, we don't even give her a name. She doesn't even have an existence outside of this. You don't even remember what her name is. None of us do. That's pretty fucked up, Thomas. I thought you were a dietitian. Weird choice. Okay. Jane, what do you think? Jane with the weather. Well, Tom, I think that um, things are tough, you know? Things are tough. Things can be tough out there. The weather can be blaring, you know? It can be raining, it can be pouring, shit can get nuts. But as long as you remember that my name is Jane and I'm a woman who does the weather, know that that's important. Thanks. The time is 11.47. Bing, bong, bing. Man, Wormy, you really went on a diatribe right there. You went nuts. You were losing your shit. Women can be weather men, dude. They can be weather women. They don't have to be weather men. They can be weather people. Women can be weather men. Women can be weather men. Women can be weather people. They can do the weather, okay? A woman could go up and go, hey, weather, look at the weather. It doesn't happen very often, but it's possible. It's possible, Wormy. It's very possible. Uh, <laughs> this is the stupidest show I've ever done in my life. It's so goddamn stupid. What am I doing? Anyway, I'm driving through the endless night. Uh, I've actually become so perfectly timed that when I edit these, uh, everything can line up perfectly. It's pretty cool. I, it's, I'm starting to like develop like, uh, like a setup for this so we can edit it faster. But it's fun, you know, it's barely edited. It's not really edited. The only thing that's edited is the stuff that gets added on top of what already exists. I actually purposely don't cut the audio. I used to do it. And it sounds weird with the car, because since there's background noise, whenever you cut the audio, it sounds way worse and way more jump cutty. So I just get rid of all of that. I just cut that all out of there. Um, I keep saying, um, he's there. Subconscious is saying some snarky shit. Fuck you, subconscious. Fuck you. Wormy's here to stay. He's my friend. Okay? Bing, bong, bing. The time is 11.49. Uh, I agree with Aloni. Shut the fuck up, subconscious. You don't get to talk here. This is my house. His brain will be mine. You can't stop me. He's mine. Mine. I'm gonna chew on his hippocampus. I'm gonna slurp up his cerebellum. You know, fava beans and ice Chianti. I'm all over his brain, okay? I'm in there, psychically. Just because I'm in a jar doesn't mean I don't have psychic powers. I'll psychic you. I'll mob cycle 100 your brain off. I'll do it. Don't fuck with me, subconscious. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Thanks, Tom. Uh, <laughs> we really got to keep up the ruse that this is a radio show. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. What is the news? What is that? What does news do? Fear. Fear. 
Veer. Is that a thing? Is that a thing that the news does? Tom, I would just like to say, as Jane over here, the weather woman, who's justified in being here, I would just like to say, um, that's from Inside Job, the show. You, you stole that from Maloney's brain. That, that's Inside Job. That's a thing he watched. That's not a real thing the news says. They don't just say fear, fear, fear. They actually, like, use subtle stuff to do that. They're actually more subtle. Hey, it's, um, my name's Jim. I'm the janitor. What is this? What, where are we? Are we real? Are we a figment of, of, of Aloni's imagination or Wormy's? I don't understand. Are we real? Am I alive? Where am I? What is this room? It's so dark here. It's so dark. God help me. Well, that's been the news. The time is 11.51. Bing, bong, bing. I'm scared, Wormy. Are there subconscious people in one of us? Who is Jim now? Is Jim real? Is Jim in a real room somewhere? Who's Jim? Bing, bong, bing. Pay no attention to Jim. Do not pay attention to him. He is not real. Jim is not real. I feel pretty real. No, he's not real. The time is 11.51. Bing, bong, bing. Well, now you're just saying bing, bong, bing. <laughs> I wanted to talk about deeper things today, Wormy. I didn't want to just go into your existential dread that is, is Jimmy a real guy or not? There's a lot of things I want to talk about. There's a lot of things I think about, Wormy. I think about a lot of stuff. I think a lot of thoughts. I thought a lot of things. I think. I think the thoughts. I just, I did a lot of things in my life. I, I had a lot of plans. And those plans didn't work out. And that's what happens in life. You make a plan and then that plan fails. And then you move on from that plan and you do new things. And you end up doing weird shit like this. Experimental, crazy, madhouse, crazy town shit. I got other ideas in the pipeline. I talked about them at the beginning of this show, but like those episodes suck. And I didn't do the wormy stuff. And the wormy stuff is great. I love it. It's fun. It's a fun little bit. It's funny that I stream all night and then I still have this energy to stream. So I'm doing this show now as like a placer. You know, I don't know. I, I I'm cooling down. A lot of things have been happening. I've been I've been slowly blowing up on YouTube, but I don't like it. I don't like how many people can see me now. I wanted to be seen, and now I'm being seen, and I don't like it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I have a lot of fans who are nice and they say great things and then I get a couple of fucking weirdos in there. Recently I got a fascinating one. I said it on stream just a couple hours ago. There was a guy who commented like something really nice. He was like, oh, this is, this is a, you know, I, I never really thought about this, this perspective. But then he said something weird. He said like, I never really think about like gay folks and the homosexual condition and people with the homosexual condition. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. The homosexual condition. Like 1800 shit. That guy's probably a really nice guy. But he just doesn't, he's just old, I guess. Or he just has weird, he just does not describe gay people, I guess. I don't know. But, man. It's crazy. I've been doing this bit on stream that I call Wrath is that Pride Month is over now. This is the first day of Wrath Month. July. No longer the 4th of July. No longer any of that shit. Fuck that. It's Wrath Month. This is the month where gays get mad now. We're mad. We're mad. Get cut, nerd. We're mad. I'm sick of this shit. Pride Month is bullshit. It's a scam. You, don't, you, you can't just put a playlist up that doesn't have anything in it and say, oh, that's Pride Show's 
and it's like three shows, and you're like, where did all the other shows go? Oh, I know. They went to they went to Amazon, bought them, so that I can't watch them unless I pay them money. Huh? Weird how the price went up during Pride Month. Weird. Whatever. It, I hate I hate the entire concept of Pride Month. I've never been to Pride parades. I never really felt comfortable in public in general, so it's just never been a thing for me. I always feel very disconnected from Pride festivities, you know? Um, but I don't know. It's just... Wrath Month sounds fun. I like it. I've been going a little bit more nuts on the stream, saying a lot more insane things. And uh, it's been fun. There's been some nice people there. I really don't know how I feel about streaming as a whole. I got really, really complicated feelings about streaming. There's just, there's a lot of power imbalances, you know. And it's just, it's a very weird thing. It's a weird place with weird people. And I like weirdos. Weirdos are my people. I'm a weird person. But I just, I don't know. I just keep doing it, and I'm like, I, why do we do anything, you know? I guess because we enjoy the things that we do. Maybe I shouldn't care about the, the future of my videos and what people think of me as a person. I won't, I, maybe I shouldn't live in fear of crazy people going insane and doing crazy shit. Because that's what I'm scared of. Bing, bong, bing. Well, guys, it looks like we're almost here, but we are running a late. We have three minutes to get in, but he is seven minutes away. Not good for him. He might have to go slightly faster than the speed limit to make it, and that's against the law. You're right, Bill. He's literally admitting to traffic-based crimes. We need a crime statistician stat. Hey, this is Ricky. I'm Ricky, the criminal guy. I talk about crimes. Man, Wormy, you don't know anything about criminals. Or, or the news, apparently. You don't know much about anything. I too know stuff. I know stuff. I'm Ricky, the crime man. The crime statistician. I study crimes, and you're committing a crime right now. It's 40, the speed limit is 40 miles per hour and you're going 50 in the dark. That's a crime. You're right, it is a crime. I'm a monster, I'm going around to 45. Good, good. Five over is fine in America, apparently. Apparently. If you're in a hurry, as long as the cops aren't around, it's fine, apparently. Anyway, so the time, what time is it? Time guy, Bill? My name is Bill, I'm not time guy. I'm the anchor of Imaginary News Network 3. Three? There's more than one network? What happens if I change the dial? Mi amo Jorge. Huh, you, I still know Spanish? It's still in there? I didn't know that, Wormy. I guess it is kind of in there. What about here? What's this? The mainstream media is telling you that fish aren't real. The fuck does that mean, Wormy? Let <laughs> me change it over again. What's Bill up to? Hey, I'm Bill. Uh, It's 11.59. You're going to be late, dude. You're going to be late. I don't want to hear this guy anymore. Let's go somewhere else. Hey, this is Becky with Becky's Corner. Do 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 do. Becky's Corner. Welcome to Becky's Corner, the greatest morning show in the world. Yes, it's midnight, but that's morning here. I just love making baskets. Don't you like making baskets? I love making baskets. Baskets are great. I'm a basketball player, you see. Look at I'm on the, I'm on the basketball field, a field where they play basketball. All right, Wormy, I, I'm gonna turn the fake radio off. Can I do that? You can't do that, I'm Bill, and you just changed the channel back to me. You just changed it back to me. 
Hey, uh, it's me, Jim. Uh, I, uh, I'm really confused. So now there's multiple radio stations in Ohlone's imagination mind where the worm controls multiple stations. You're telling me that this is a entire fictional universe inside the mind of a worm reading the guy's mind. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah, that's about right. Why, is that confusing to you? No, it's just kind of weird. Why would somebody do this as like an art form? Why would somebody record this and then edit this and then put it out on the internet for strangers to see? Why would somebody do that? That's a great question. What do you think, Tom? Well, I think that Aloni is having a psychotic break. What do you think, J Jane? Your name's Jane. What do you think, Jane? I think that we all need to fucking chill. Just chill, bro. Just chill. You're not going to be late. You got five minutes. You can run. And i just like to say, I think this is a fun show with fun ideas. I think it's cool to see a snippet of a man slowly losing his mind once a week. I think it's fascinating that Aloni still puts these videos out despite the fact that I guess he enjoys them, but he also kind of hates them, you know? It's, it's a weird feeling when someone creative both loves and hates making things. It's just a fascinating psychological idea. The idea that you can enjoy something, but you could be so tired that you don't want to do it, you know? It's fascinating. Anyway, back to you, Bill. You know, Jane, you may be a weather woman, but you should be anchor, because that was beautiful. Don't get up, Jane. No, don't come over here. I was just saying that. I didn't mean it. I am Bill. I am the one who rules. I am the one who anchors, okay? You don't take my job, Jane. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Get Jane out of here. Replace her. Replace her with another weather woman. Oh, shit. Am I on the air? Bing, bong, bing. Wormy, are you doing that, man? Are you, is this you? What is this? What is happening? Are you picking up on a broadcast somebody else's frequency here? Or like, is this place real? Am I real, Wormy? Am I real? Aloni the Bard, the VTuber, who some guy used to, you know, who used to be some guy who's a real person? Where's the line here? Are we really driving? Is this fake? Because we just got to a stop sign and it showed up in the recording. But he just said he edited that in. Is this real? Is he really going to be late? I don't know. I think I am about to be late because I have two minutes, literally. I have to stop now, guys. I, I love this show. I hate the work around the show because I'm busy. I don't hate the show. I don't even hate working on the show. I actually really enjoy this. It's a nice distraction from my other stuff. Basically, while I'm uploading the main channel content, I make this show for funsies because it's easy. It's not that hard to make. You just throw it in and then I go and add some animations. I basically just have to play through and listen to this show once. But I'm tired. I'm really tired. Streaming is exhausting. And this is a nice little outlet, but I need to run literally run at full speed or I will be late. I have two minutes to punch it. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, my favorite outro I've ever made, Cringulator. <laughs>